Most people think height is 100% genetics. It is something you're born with and stuck with forever. They think once you hit 18, that's it. Done. No more inches, no more growth. Game over. But that's not the full truth. I won't lie to you. Genetics matter. They set the stage. If your parents are tall, you've got a higher chance of being tall. If they're shorter, your foundation is smaller. That's the truth. But here's the secret almost nobody tells you. Genetics are not the whole story. They don't control everything. The way you live your life matters. Your daily habits matter. The food you eat, how you move, even the stress and pressure you put on your bones, all of it can change how tall you actually show up in the real world. Now let's clear up one big myth. After puberty, your growth plates close. That's when your bones stop lengthening, which means no, you can't just stretch yourself taller like some people claim. That's fantasy. The brutal truth is that new height doesn't appear out of nowhere once your plates are sealed. That's why two people with the exact same genetics can end up with very different heights depending on how they live. Don't believe me? Let's look at a real example. Back in the 1940s, before Korea split into North and South, the average height of people there was the same. Same blood, same genetics. But today, the average male in South Korea is around five feet eight inches. In North Korea, the average is around five feet four inches. That's a four inch difference in just a few generations. Why? Not because of DNA changes, because of diet, lifestyle, and environment. That's proof right there. Genetics matter, but what you do with your body matters too. Why most people stop growing? So, your height depends on your growth plates, those little soft spots of cartilage at the ends of your bones. While you're young, these plates are open. They're busy producing new bone cells, which makes your bones longer. Longer bones equals more height. During puberty, growth plates are in overdrive. That's why you suddenly shoot up in middle school or high school. But here's the catch. Once those plates close, the bone hardens and growth stops. For some people, growth plates close at 16. For others, 18. For a few, even 20 to 22. It's not the same for everyone. But one thing is guaranteed. Once they close, you're done growing naturally. So the real question isn't, can I grow taller after 18? The real question is, have my growth plates closed yet? And if not, how do I maximize what's left? What actually controls your height? At the center of it all is growth hormone, a chemical your body releases from your pituitary gland. It's basically the fuel for your bones, muscles, and development. If your growth hormone levels are high, you grow fast and strong. If they're low, you grow slow, weak, and stay underdeveloped. That's why some kids who eat poorly sleep badly and never exercise end up shorter than their genetic potential. Their bodies literally never had the fuel to grow to full size. So, you can't rewrite your DNA, but you can maximize your body's environment to reach the tallest version of yourself possible. The big killers of growth here are the things that silently kill your growth. Bad sleep. Growth hormone spikes when you sleep deeply. Stay up all night scrolling TikTok and you're literally robbing yourself of growth. Weak nutrition. If your body doesn't get enough protein, calcium, and vitamins, your bones simply don't have the building blocks to grow. Heavy weightlifting. Too early. Lifting insanely heavy when you're young can put too much stress on your spine and joints. Moderate training builds you up. Overdoing it crushes your potential. Hormone problems. If your thyroid or pituitary gland isn't working right, growth stops early. This is where a doctor needs to step in. Bad posture. You could be losing one to two inches right now just by standing like a shrimp. The science of forcing growth. Okay, so let's get practical. What can you actually do to maximize your height before it's too late? Here's what actually works. Number one, sports that stretch you play. Sports that force you to jump, sprint, and stretch. Basketball, volleyball, swimming. Why? They put your body in a constant cycle of micro-stress and recovery. 
which signals your bones to adapt and lengthen. Number two, jump training, Maasai method. The Maasai tribe in Africa is known for being tall and having insane vertical jumps. They practice jumping for hours. That repetitive jumping creates tiny micro fractures in the shin bones, which heal stronger and sometimes longer. You don't need to be extreme, but regular jump training works. Number three, hanging sounds silly, but hanging from a bar daily decompresses your spine. Gravity compresses you all day. Hanging stretches you out. With bad posture alone, you can look two to three inches shorter. Number four, stretching. Simple stretches like cobra pose, downward dog, and toe touches make your spine flexible and aligned. You're not growing new bones, but you're unlocking the height you already have. Number five, proper diet. You can do all the exercises in the world, but if you eat garbage, you're wasting time. You need protein, chicken, eggs, beans, for bone and muscle growth, calcium, milk, yogurt, greens, for bone strength, vitamin D, sunlight, fish, eggs, helps absorb calcium, zinc, plus magnesium, crucial for hormones and water, lots of water. Number six, sleep equals free growth. Want free gains? Sleep eight to nine hours a night. Growth hormone spikes when you're deep in sleep. If you're staying up late, you're literally throwing away growth. Number seven, avoid the killers, stop smoking, stop drinking, stop stressing 24 seven. All of these destroy hormone balance and stunt growth. The truth about height tricks, special shoes, temporary. The moment you take them off, your extra height is gone. You're fooling yourself, not changing your body. Supplements that promise three, four, even five extra inches after puberty? Scam. They play on your insecurity. They sell you dreams in a bottle, but the only thing growing is the company's bank account, not your height. Stretching alone won't magically make you tall. Hanging from a bar or touching your toes isn't going to turn you into an NBA player. Yes, stretches help your posture. Yes, they make your spine healthier, but they don't unlock hidden inches that don't exist. That's the harsh truth. But here's the good news. There actually is a real way to hit your tallest possible height. And it's not complicated. You don't need magic powders. You don't need miracle devices. You need consistency in the things that actually matter. Here's the formula nobody wants to hear because it sounds too simple. Good habits plus proper diet plus deep sleep plus smart training plus posture correction plus active sports equals maximum height potential. That's it. That's the recipe. It won't turn a five foot six guy into six foot five, but it will make sure you hit the tallest your body is genetically meant to be. And for most people, that means gaining or reclaiming one, two, even three inches they've been losing to bad lifestyle choices. Real way, eel. If you like this video, hit the like button. It helps others find this content and that helps me too. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and see you next time.